Hi everyone. So now let's just see how to multiply two matrices. Suppose we have these two matrices and we want to multiply them. Now what we do to get the resultant matrix? We just take the first row of this and then first column of this to get this element. So for example, let me just give you the example. Let's suppose these are the two matrices that we have. Now if we want to multiply these two matrices, we will take the first row of this and then first column of this, then we get the first element. Which means if we want to multiply these two, then this will be one into one. This will be one plus one. It is two, and then we will we will multiply this uh, this row with this column to get the second element. Which means it will be two plus one, which is three, right? So that's how we keep on writing all the elements here. So this is how we multiply two matrices. But now more interesting question is that I mean uh, this is what we have uh, we have already seen in our elementary school. But now more interesting question is that can we multiply two matrices in any other way, which is actually useful for the linear algebra perspective? What we have just done is basically to uh, to get the one two element, which means first row and second column. We we basically did the multiplication of first row of A and then second column of B. That's how we did the. uh did in our school days right which means we we did the this row and the, then this column to get the uh to get the first row second column which means to get this particular this particular element we are basically multiplying this and this so this is what it is written there right that we need to multiply first row of a and the second column b to get the uh to get this this element which is 1 2 okay now my question is that can we multiply two matrices in any other way Let's just see. See, we already know how to multiply a matrix with a vector. Can we extend this idea? Okay. So, can we extend this idea for two matrices? Can we do this? This is my question. Let's just see if we can extend it. But before that, let me just revise you that uh, how we did matrix into vector multiplication. Actually, we did many times, but still, let's suppose this is one matrix, this is one vector, and then we want to multiply these two. So what we can do? We can take each of these columns, and then we can take the coefficients from here. That's how we get the final resultant vector. Now let's just see if we can multiply two matrices in the same way, which means if we are given we are given any two matrices, right? Any two matrices, then. can we multiply these two matrices in same way which means can we got these columns as a linear combination of these columns see if this could have been just one vector let's suppose this this is just one vector right suppose this is just one vector then you can do it right you, you can definitely do it but instead of just one vector if this is this uh, this uh, right hand side or maybe the second matrix i can say is basically let's suppose is not just one vector it is multiple vectors now if it is multiple vectors then in that case can you do the similar method let's just see so the question is that can we multiply two matrices in the similar way that we did a matrix into vector multiplication okay and then i will also share one of my walmart interview question that is just based on matrix multiplication i mean how to multiply two matrices so that's very interesting question and that has been asked to me in walmart so i will share one walmart interview question that has been asked to me that's very interesting question just uh, just understand this concept then i think you can answer that question also now tell me can we multiply two matrices in a similar way which means i have two matrices till now what we did i had one matrix and i have one vector but now i want two matrices to multiply in the similar way can we do it then answer is yes how so earlier what i did let's suppose there is a matrix 2 3 1 0 let's suppose this is 1 2 0 1 something like that and then if i want to multiply these two matrices can you just do it quickly this will be 2 3 into 1 0 this will be 2 this will be 2 3 4 3 this is 7 this will this is 1 This is two, right? So this is, I think, this is correct. Two seven one two. Okay. Now let me ask you: Can we multiply in the similar way? Which means, can see earlier what I did? I I I said like this vector, whatever I'm, uh, whatever I'm getting on the right right hand side, it's a linear combination of columns of this. Can I say similar thing here? The answer is yes. See here, it is just that we have multiple vectors on the right hand side. On the right hand side, we do not have just one vector. We have multiple vectors, which are two one and seven two. So what will I say that? This vector two one is also linear combination of these vectors, and no seven two is also linear combination of these vectors. Let me let me show you how. This is two one, this is three zero. On the right hand side, what do you have? You have two one. Can you tell me the linear uh, linear combination that is generating this two one? 
this is maybe one zero, right? Maybe one zero. So this one zero is getting you two one. Can you tell me from where this one zero is coming? This this first column, right? Similarly, if I ask you that, if I ask you that uh, this is let's suppose seven two, and what should be the coefficients here to generate the seven two? Can you tell me the coefficient? What are the coefficient? Two one, right? So you will say two and one. How? Two into two four plus three it is seven. Two plus uh, zero it is two. So you will say the coefficients are coming from this column. So basically, it is just a multi-column. If I ask you that, uh, is this a linear combination of columns of A? Then you will say yes. Is this a linear combination of columns A? You will say yes, right? If I ask you from where you are getting the coefficient, you will say uh, which column is this? You will say uh, I will say this is the first column. Then you will say okay, from first column you are getting. If this is second column, you from the second column you are getting, right? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, there should be a meme here. Uh, that meme I got, uh, which meme we are talking about. So anyway, so but you understood this, right? So if I ask you that um, that is this a linear combination of columns of A, then you will say yes. If I ask you is this a linear combination of columns of A, then you will say yes. Okay. So this A x equal to B or any two matrices are actually just a linear combination of columns of this A. A into you multiply anything here. Okay. Maybe matrix, maybe vector, whatever you are getting on the right hand side, that is a linear combination of columns of A. Linear combination of columns of it. Okay. This is very, very useful interpretation, and we will be using this interpretation mostly. Okay. See here, if you multiply this matrix with this matrix, then the first column. Is basically a linear combination of columns of A. This is columns of A, and the coefficients will be coming from this, which is AC, and the second column also a linear combination of columns of A. This is just a, I mean, this is just a one vector. Okay, finally it will be, I mean, some vector which is A plus two C or whatever, like three A plus four C, something like that. This will be one vector. This will be B plus two D and three B plus four D. Okay, this will be another vector. So anyway, these are just two vectors. I hope you are able to identify. These are just two vectors, and this vector is also linear combination of columns of A, which is this. This vector is also linear combination of columns of A. For first vector, you will be get getting coefficients from here. For the second vector, you will be getting coefficients from here. Okay. In general, you can say something like this. Now, uh, now you can see this slide. So we will we, we will be using this interpretation here and there. Which means, let's suppose you want to multiply this one, two, three, four. And then one zero, one two. Then basically, what you are doing, you are multiplying this matrix with this vector. You are getting first vector. You are multiplying this vector, this matrix with the second vector. You are getting the second uh, second vector. That's what you are doing. Okay. Now let's just solve this question. Whether okay, uh, sorry, I forgot to write whether this is true or false. One second. Please do not read it because I have the answers here. Yeah. So let let's just uh, let's just answer this question whether this is true or false. So they are saying that if A is a M cross N matrix, okay, A is a M cross N matrix, and B is N cross P matrix. So this is A, this is B. You know that uh, the, this should be dimension. How how we get the dimension of the third matrix and all right? I'm just assuming that you know this. So this N and uh, basically is common. So the final dimension is M into P, right? The final dimension is m into b. Now they are saying that a is a is a m into n matrix and b is n into p matrix, whose first column contains only zeros. Okay, which first column? If a is in this matrix, we I think b first column, right? This column is containing only zeros. Then they are saying that then first column of a b also contains only zeros. This is true or false? This is true. Why? Because why this is true? Because see, yes, Satyajit, that is true. Because you will be getting like uh, this this column. It's just a linear combination of columns of A. And from where you are getting the coefficients, you will be getting the coefficients from here. And if, if this is all zero, then this is also all zero, right? If coefficients are all zero, then this is also all zero. Okay. So this is actually true. Now, let me. 
uh, ask you one some other question let's suppose um, okay one thing you know before that question let me ask you this question let's suppose you have two linearly independent vectors in a set of five vectors okay only two linearly independent vectors every other vector is just redundant which means let's suppose this is 1 2 this is 2 3 and then every other vector is basically dependent on them maybe this is 2 4 maybe this is uh, maybe 4 6 or anything else maybe this is 3 5 something like that okay let's suppose these are the five vectors and only these two vectors are linearly independent i mean um, every other vector can be can be generated by these two vectors let's let's assume this now whatever i do which means i i i do any kind of linear combination of these two these all vectors whatever i do how many linearly independent vectors i can get using linear combination What do you think? How many linearly independent vectors I will be getting? See, I started with two linearly independent vectors. Then whatever I do does not matter. I, I cannot increase this. Okay. So I will be getting just two, whatever I do, which means let's suppose this is U, V, W, X, Y, Z or anything X, Y, then maybe, maybe I do C1, U plus C2, V plus C3, W plus uh, I mean, let me not take C1, C2, C3. You might get confused. Let me take some real numbers plus X plus Y. So let's just take some numbers, maybe 1, 2, 0, whatever I do, 3, uh, 7, whatever I do. This is one vector. Similarly, I will be getting some other vector. So um, the, um, how, there are many, many linear combinations that I can take. This is just one linear combination I can take. There are there are many, many ones. Maybe, maybe I can take some other linear combination where I will be changing the coefficients. So here, let's suppose the coefficients are, this is this so 0, minus 1, this is 3, 4, this is 10 or something. Okay. So there, there, there are many linear combinations I can get, but using these five vectors only, okay, I cannot increase the linear independency. If earlier I started with two, then I will get only two linearly independent ultimately. I cannot increase the linearly independent vectors. Yes, everything will be a linear combination of these two linearly independent vectors. Yes, that is correct. Nice. Okay. So I cannot increase, I cannot increase the linear combination of the linear and linear independency. Otherwise, like whole linear algebra will be just myth. I mean, you start with one vector, you just uh, one or two vectors in, let's suppose in R5, you do some linear combination, you get more vectors, you fill the whole space of R5. This is, this is not right, right? I mean, R5, you need five vectors to fill the whole space. You cannot start with two, then you cannot generate with five vectors like that. Okay. So anyway, like you start with two linear independent vectors, whatever you do, you will be getting just two linear independent vectors. Because as Abhishek has pointed out very nice point, he's saying that everything else will be a linear combination of these two linear independent vectors. So whatever you do, this vector is linear dependent on this vector only, which means there is no difference between this vector and these two vectors, basically. Okay. If you are having this zero, then this vector is basically almost same as these two vectors. There is no difference between these two vectors and, and this set. Okay. And Priya is saying also because this is R2. No, this is not R2. I mean, this need not to be R2. Who's Acha, here it is R2. Acha, okay. Here it is R2, but anyway. Um, no, in, in general, I'm, I was actually not intended to talk about R2. You can take any, any dimension in general in Rn. Okay. So why I'm telling you this is because of this. Let's suppose this is A. Okay. This is A. And let's suppose I have some, <clears throat> some vectors here, maybe four vectors, five vectors. Let's not worry about it. Okay. Uh, let's not worry about the dimension also. Maybe, maybe each is of dimension R10. Let's not worry about this dimension also. Let's suppose that this is given to me that uh, this, I multiply this A and B and I get C. And this is given to me that here I just have two linearly dependent vectors. Okay. Suppose this is given to me. Then how many linearly independent vectors you will be having in C? Then you got my question, right?
see these vectors these vectors are just linear combination of vectors of a right since these vectors are linear combination of vectors of a you cannot get more than two so at most two at most two i mean it depends on v if b is just zero then you will be getting zero in c and that is just one vector that you have right it depends on obviously b but you cannot generate more than two that is for sure okay so at most you can generate two why i mean there there will be let's suppose many vectors uh, four vectors basically not many mm, uh, not sorry not four vectors depends on the dimension of b so anyway there, there could be many vectors but out of all vectors there are there there cannot be more than two linearly dependent vectors because you are starting with two linearly dependent vectors then how how you can get uh, more than two linearly dependent vectors right this exact same question was asked in my walmart interview and to your surprise i mean they have not asked the they have not framed this, this same question as it is they have asked a question in little little tweak way and uh, i mean my interview was going very well so what happened that uh, he has just written uh, some i mean some tricky tricky framing of the same question on the board and using the determinant on and all and i was just looking at the board and i was not able to identify that why it is happening i mean he just told me that prove it that uh, not prove i mean like he just told me that why it is the case just tell tell me some intuition so i was just wondering that why why it is happening like that i mean that the underlying concept was just like that that we are just starting with the two linear independent vectors then finally we cannot get more than two and exact i i can say the framing was different but the underlying concept was exact same so it was arson walmart interview anyway so yeah so if you prepare these subjects well then obviously you will be clearing these kind of interview very easily for machine learning profile okay so actually they have, they have given me two matrices and they asked me the determinant and all and determinant was coming out to be zero and then they asked me why it is coming out to be zero then i was just wondering that why it is the case so at that time in the interview it was not coming in the in my mind that uh, okay um, that we are starting with the less in linear independent columns which means all all columns are not linear independent just two columns are linear independent so that is why i am getting this kind of story manisha is saying uh, walmart is coming on 30th of august in my campus okay so arpan is saying so if we have linearly independent then finally we cannot have more than n linearly independent uh, always can we generalize yeah you start with any you start with n no there are no exception or something you start with n linearly independent you cannot generate more than n obviously okay now you know how to multiply two matrices then i think now you can solve this particular question especially this particular d option so let's just solve these two questions in the next video okay we will be solving these two questions in the next video now